Hello, I hope you're having a nice day. I'm here at my business location, taking down shelves, packing things up, and having a lot of difficulty with the thing between my ears. <laughs> that is with my mind because uh, I'm, let, I'm letting go. And that's the title here. Like the hardest part of life is letting go. And, and letting go has, has different meanings for everybody for different things. But what I'm experiencing is like I worked so hard to build this space. I worked so hard to create what happened and is still happening here. However, well, I'm being asked to do something differently. When I say I'm being asked, it's not like someone's tapping me on the shoulder and saying, hello, Tarish, I need you to do something different. It's from in here, from inside of my gut, I'm being asked to grow, to do something different. I'm being called to a different assignment, I guess you could say. And so I'm having these internal struggles of letting go. And the reason I thought, well, I definitely could talk about this because there's a great quote that I had written on my wall. Let me read it to you. It says, the greatest problem <clears throat> you will face in life will not be desire, but attachment, not letting go of things when the universe is asking you to go with the flow. And it is true it's really easy for us to go out and acquire something, to do something, to learn something, to um, meet someone or whatever. And the challenge, the great challenge that we face is letting go. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean you have to let go of your house or your business and move along like I've been asked to do in my life. But it could be that you're being asked to let go of a belief about yourself so that you can take that new job. Or you're being asked to let go of the belief about yourself so you no longer keep yourself impoverished or that you no longer keep yourself carrying heavy burdens of other people's stuff that's not yours. So letting go <clears throat> could be something uh, not material, but it could be something that is in your mind prevalent thoughts, prevalent feelings about yourself or someone else. So what I'm being asked to do, uh, isn't this cute? You can see my, I got to figure out where I'm going to store my surfboard, uh, my longboard now. So there's the rack that held it up and is still holding it up. But <clears throat> yeah, so sometimes we have relationships with things for a month or two. Sometimes we have relationships with things and people and places for five years. So I think that the longer we postpone letting go of something, the more suffering it causes us. And for me, back when I was younger, I would get taps on the shoulder all the time. Like if I was dating someone and things started to go awry and then I would just be like, well, I'll just brush it off because I didn't believe in that I deserved um, harmonious and nice, you know, relationships with people. So I would continue to stay in tumultuous and argumentative places because I didn't really believe that I was worthy of something better. And as today, I'm kind of embarrassed, it's a little messy in here, but I'll show you. I've been taking these shelves, well, there were shelves on the wall right there. That was the bookshelves that I had <clears throat> just been so excited to get on the darn wall a year ago or longer. Wait, what is this, January? Yeah, it was a year ago when I was, I was just getting all of these set up a year ago. And here I am, I'm like, I can't believe I'm taking these things down. Like, I can't believe like that I'm, I'm, I'm doing this again. And there is no conflict going on. <laughs> there, there is nothing quote unquote bad happening. It's just letting go. There is no difficult conversations being had. There's nothing that's bad because sometimes we think that there has to be conflict to let go or there has to be wrongdoing to let something go or something of that nature. 
because that's old, you know, karmic business. But, uh, you know, sometimes we're being asked to let go so we can change and grow and like evolve and, and take a higher step on the ladder to wherever it is that you're, you're being asked to go to. Uh, another letting go fun story for you. I was living in Hawaii for six years and I had my first shore duty station in uh, Hawaii for three years. And for the very first time in my adult life, I made friends that weren't in the military and that, that weren't working next to me every day. I made real friends. I spent real time with people riding bikes and surfing and having dinners and why am I getting emotional about that? Because it was so wonderful. Because I had lived in my work my whole life. And I was just like, oh my gosh, this is what it feels like to have relationships with people. This is awesome. And then I got a tap on the damn shoulder. It was really like, you know, that gut feeling. <laughs> I got a tap on the damn shoulder that was like, you need to you need to move to San Diego and take this aircraft carrier because that's a very uncomfortable place for you to be. Oh, so okay. And everyone's like, oh, yeah, San Diego's basically just the same as Hawaii. It's gonna be wonderful. Well, it wasn't. It was horrible for me because um, I had to face a lot within myself. But I didn't want to leave. I did not want to let go of my life in Hawaii. If you're a friend of mine that lived that lived in Hawaii at the time and that we were friends, that was the best times of my life. However, I was tapped on the shoulder and said, you gotta go. And um, I remember I was getting a ride to the airport in 2000, yeah, January 2010. Um, you know, you have already shipped your housing goods, you've shipped your car. When you move to and from Hawaii, you get everything shipped by boat. And yeah, full moon and cancer, I'm an emotional wreck, folks. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> but it's all good. I hope you get the message that letting go is not easy. <laughs> it's the hardest part of life. So, I was getting a ride to the airport from a friend and I was like, okay, I had a chance to go for my final surf sesh by myself on the east side. As I was paddling, you know, coming back in on my surfboard, well, it was borrowed. It was a borrowed board because everything was shipped already. And I was crying. I was bawling. I was just crying on my surfboard, crying in the ocean. That's how badly I did not want to leave. And let me, let me finish this by telling you something. My mother won't watch this video. She doesn't participate in social media unless I sent her a copy of it. She wouldn't watch it. But my mother has this belief, and maybe you do too if you know me, that I'm this strong person. My mother thinks that I don't have feelings. <laughs> my mom doesn't know that I cry all the time when I'm sad and I have to let things go because my mom chooses to see like this strong individual that just does everything. But I'm here to tell you that, yes, I'm letting go of a business location after less than a year of being fully operational. And I'm sad and I'm having a challenge with it. I'm crying as I, you know, taking the screwdriver and pulling the screws out of the wall. But it's part of life is letting go. And I'm sharing my opened heart with you because I want you to know that it's okay to let something go and not really be all about it. Because <clears throat> I, it's okay to let something go and cry and be sad about it. It's okay to let go of that person that you love, but you just know that you have to grow in a different direction and right, you have to break your own heart, I guess is the, the term I've used many times. I've had to break my own heart because you're being called to do something different. It doesn't mean that you don't care. It doesn't mean that you don't love. It doesn't mean that you don't want the best for, for that person and for you. It just, Letting go is challenging. 
And I believe that we are all being asked to let go of stuff right now. And maybe that's why I was like, you need to make this video, the tap on the shoulder. You need to go and cry online again today, Tarish. Um, <laughs> but letting go is a bitch. <laughs> it really is hard. And I just want you to know that you may see me as a strong, capable person that's doing cool things. I am human just like you. I have feelings. I am sad to let things go. But the thing that I thrive off of is I don't want to look back five years from now and say, I wish I would have taken that opportunity. I wish I would have let go of that sooner. So we jump when we're not ready. We take a leap when we're not ready. We leave when we're scared. We leave when we're afraid. We leave and we feel lonely. We make moves that are completely uncertain. But you know what? It's either do that or regret it, not regret not doing it later. So there you go. I'm going through a letting go sadness and this is a theme in life. <laughs> but, you know, there's a part of the yoga practice and I and I pulled this book out. So the yoga practice is not just physical. It's also about studying yourself. I don't know if you can read this. It's called the Yamas and the Niyamas, but these are the parts of the yoga practice. It's how we relate to ourselves and how we relate to the world. And the Yamas and the Niyamas are uh, certain things about like nonviolence, nonviolence toward yourself, you know, not speaking to yourself in a harmful manner, not hurting yourself through your words and actions like that is part of the yoga practice and non-attachment, non-possessiveness is part of the yoga practice. And this is the Yamas and Niyamas. I highly recommend this book if you want to go deeper into your practice of studying yourself and you like yoga lingo and such, the Yamas and Niyamas, or you could just Google it online and get a lot of information. But this is what the yoga practice is really about. It's studying ourselves and knowing that the, the more that we let go, the more we're allowing freedom in our lives and the freedom in the lives around us. But the thing is, letting go doesn't mean that we don't care. Letting go doesn't mean that we didn't love very deeply and very strongly, but it's learning to let go and release ourselves to grow and evolve and change. And that's what we're here for as a human being. We're here to grow. We're here to learn. We're here to evolve. And being human is having feelings. So I'm human. You're human. Let's all be human together. <laughs> I hope you have a great Sunday. Hopefully the, uh, the surf will be good this evening. But if not, that's okay. We're looking toward a great week here in Westport, Washington. And I'm sending you so much love. I hope you have a great week as well. If you're just now joining this video, go back and watch in the beginning. You get to see me cry. It's awesome. Have a great day. I'll see you soon.